like really scrubbing it, you know? What's up guys, for this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to protect the most crucial area of your Tesla Model 3. As you guys might know, the Model 3 has some paint issues and what we've actually done for you is we've designed a kit to protect the most crucial area, which is this rocker panel or quarter panel area with a portion of the door. Due to the aerodynamics of the car, there's a lot of projectiles that fly towards this way. Even if you have some mud flaps, this is actually one of the most damaged areas on Model 3. If you wanna extend the life of that, watch this tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to protect it. So, let's get on with what's inside in the kit and what you guys are gonna need. So what we have in the kit is um, a rear quarter pr panel protection for each side. And then there's also two pieces, one for each side of the door. You're gonna have a yellow turbo squeegee. You're also gonna have a soap solution mix that you're gonna mix in 500 milliliters of hot water. I like working with hot water, it's softer on the hands and it helps you maneuver the, the material better. And what you're gonna need on your side are two spray bottles. You're gonna need either, you know, we're using a pump sprayer here, um, and you're gonna need another bottle. So one bottle is for the soap solution mix, and then this one you're gonna need uh, to mix 70% isopropyl alcohol with 500 milliliters of water. This is gonna help you tack down at the end when you're installing the film. And you're also gonna need a microfiber. This microfiber is gonna help you clean the area, it's gonna help you dry it. You can even use multiple microfibers if you want. So, without further ado, this is what you're gonna have to start with, and that's a clean car. So here we have this clean car. Um, I always suggest you start off with the door open. Um, everything has been cleaned all the way around it. So first, you're, what you're gonna do is you're gonna spray it down with the soap solution mix. And you're gonna take your piece, so, as before you take your piece spray it down with water first what this is going to help you do is it's going to help kill the static and static attracts dust you don't want dust getting inside your protection film it's not fun to remove so try to prevent that from happening so what we're going to do is how this kit's designed uh, is this corner here this as you can see it has like a kind of corner or nipple um, it's designed to fit in to the new generation Model 3. So the, the latest Model 3s, they've added a, an extra layer of paint along the bottom. This nipple actually fits directly inside that piece. So uh, fit that there, make even spacing all the way under, that goes all the way along the bottom. And it has just a little bit of wrap. And this little bit of wrap is, is, is um, what you need to really protect the edge. Uh, of your of your car so once that in is in place you want to align the top also so gently squeeze out any air that you might have and there you have it this corner is supposed to meet right there and it's gonna fold in just like that and this corner meets right here and it folds into your um, inner inner door area inner door area door sill um, so how you guys are going to make sure you have this properly aligned is you should make sure that there's equal spacing all the way around here and it's the same thing for the inside of the door it should be relatively even when it folds in so once all that is actually in place just take your yellow turbo squeegee and start squeegeeing out the water and don't worry guys let's say you squeegee it out and then you realize oh it's not in the right place no problem pick up your soap solution mix Spray it back down. It's forgiving. You do have some time. You can play around with this material. So this is the Expel Stealth Film, one of our favorite films to work with. This is what we install on our clients' cars when we do stealth conversions, so it's really cool. And we're installing this over a stealth wrap to extend the life of the vinyl wrap we just finished on this car, with, which is a 3M Battleship Gray. We're adding this piece so he can really enjoy the life of the wrap. He doesn't have to worry about it chipping just like how it would normally chip the paint so once you get to this area where the line is you want to squeegee along the line water sometimes has trouble going through this little crevice so 
as you can see, if I push the water this way, there's gonna be some water that's gonna come out there. So you just wanna make sure you re remove all the air and water on both sides, and then you can squeegee the rest down. So up until now, you've only used the soap solution mix. Next, what I want you guys to use is the alcohol mix. So this is 500 milliliters alcohol with 100 milliliters of 70% 70, 70 isopropyl. And right along the edge, you guys just wanna spray a bit of alcohol. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna gently roll this over and it's gonna wrap on the inside of the door panel. Uh, not door panel, quarter panel. And you want this is because you, well, it just gives a nicer finish. Also protects a bit against the rock chips that are actually flying on the whole inside rock panel area. So, wipe that down with a microfiber. And then once you're done the entire installation, Always pass over your edges again. Um, you're gonna do the same thing for the inside now. You're gonna spray some water, uh, some alcohol mix. And without a squeegee, you're gonna take your hand and literally you're just gonna fold it in place. You see like this. But instead, you're gonna use the microfiber while you do this. So one more time, I'm gonna use my finger. I'm gonna show you guys. You just fold it in place. But with the microfiber, you're gonna see as it takes out the moisture, it's gonna hold it down. So, and keep wiping, so you wipe all the moisture away. And this is what you want. See, I didn't even pass the squeegee over it yet, so with this, just make sure you pass one more time. Make sure there's no air, no moisture. And last but not least, you wanna do the bottom, the same thing. Just pick it up slightly and spray the, the alcohol mix. So it's really important that you guys clean really well under this area because if not, you guys are gonna get dirt in your film. But we specifically designed this to fit right between the plastic trim right here. And this is gonna offer you guys the best protection possible. So there you have it guys. This piece is done. Let's move on to the door piece. Next piece is the door. Um, as you can see, this whole door edge has been cleaned. And just so you know, this is available in two finishes. It's available in the gloss finish, which is usually for paint. And then if your car already has, let's say a satin protection film, and you want to really extend the life of it, you could, you could put this over your satin protection film, or you can put it over your satin wraps. This doesn't work on matte. So the difference between matte and satin is, satin does have a sheen to it. Matte is really dull. So if you put this over your matte, you're really gonna see it. And if you put this over your gloss, well, you're gonna change the gloss to matte, uh, not matte, satin. So, um, all right, I'm gonna show you guys how to install this door piece real quickly. Spray it down, soap and water mix. Spray down your piece before you peel it up to kill the static. And as you peel it up, you want to spray it down also. So you want your piece to have the fold on top and align it with the quarter panel piece. There you go. And it should have even spacing all the way around. So once you have everything in place, take your yellow turbo squeegee and start squeegeeing up. There you have it. So um, uh, we, we've just we've done at least a hundred Model Threes, and we've worked on countless countless Model Threes that had some mileage on it, and we just see damage in this area. So for the people who are at home and just really want to protect their cars, this is why, you know, uh, we took the time to make this for you guys. Uh, it's really easy to install. As you can see, it took me maybe 30 seconds to install this piece just because of how we've designed it for you. So this aligns up with this here. 
So wet that up. And then this aligns with the bottom here. And what you want to do is you want to just make sure that there's pretty even spacing all the way around. So this is designed to have just enough wrap to wrap inside. So now that you've finished using the soap solution mix, this is the alcohol mix. Spray the inside. And you're just gonna slowly, so the same motion, you know, you wanna wrap it around, same motion, but with a microfiber so you could take up the moisture at the same time. And I would use a little bit of pressure, just start by rolling it over at first. And as you roll it over, you might notice that there's some air bubbles right here. What you're gonna do is just take your yellow turbo squeegee and uh, spray the surface just a little bit. Just so that there's some sort of lubrification when you're gonna, lubrification, uh, when you're gonna squeegee it out. Cause if not, if this grips onto the surface, you're gonna, you're gonna shift the, the film. So just squeegee with the bottom of the door and push everything outwards at the end. And then once you did that, you're gonna really grab it and fold it around nicely. Slowly but surely, you're gonna make it all the way around. And as you're drying it, you wanna change parts of the microfiber because it could get really wet and once it gets too wet, you're not gonna be able to take out the same moisture. And there you have it, guys. Our DIY rocker panel kit for you guys to really extend the life of your paint. Um, Again, it's available in two finishes. And I'm really proud of this kit because this is really gonna help you guys enjoy the car a lot longer than you, you well, a lot longer than what it was actually designed to, to last. So um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them for you. If you guys have any other requests of DIYs also, we're gonna re be releasing a lot more videos. And don't forget to like, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Find us on Instagram, find us on Facebook, give us a like. See you guys next time.